Hi there guys, welcome to the first video in a new series of videos that I'll be doing. I'm going to be doing a series looking at all of the English Black Star promo cards released for the Pokemon trading card game. I'll be talking you guys through how the cards were released, as well as any variants or errors that might be associated with the cards. Now this is going to take quite a while, due to the vast number of cards. So I'll be starting with the Wizards of the Coast Black Star promos, and hopefully this should be done in about four videos. And in this video, I'll be looking at the first 14 cards from this promo set. The Wizards Black Star promo set contains 53 cards, with the original simple numbering system of 1 to 53. Wizards kept the same numbering system and same promo set for the entire time that they held the franchise, so this promo set covers both the first generation and second generation of card releases. So, let's jump right into the cards. The first Black Star promo was given out of Pokemon Leagues in July of 1999, and features Pikachu. This card does also have a variant, which is technically not a Black Star promo, it's a Grey Star promo. Despite being released in English, the two Grey Star promos were only released in Japan. They were released around the time that the English TCG was starting in order to show off to Japanese players what the cards in the rest of the world might look like. In addition to the Pikachu, there is a Jigglypuff, which we'll be looking at later. This Pikachu card also contains an error version. Some of the cards were accidentally stamped with a first edition stamp, and placed into the first edition jungle boxes in place of the jungle Pikachu. This error seems to have been caught quickly, as the cards are quite hard to find now. Cards 2 through 5 are Electabuzz, Mewtwo, Pikachu, and Dragonite. You would get these cards by seeing Pokemon the first movie in theatres, and would be given one randomly selected card when you bought your ticket. These cards were sealed with an insert, so you couldn't see which card you were getting until you opened it. These four cards also have error versions possibly two different error versions each. As you can see, in the top right of each card there is a golden Warner Brothers stamp. However, some cards have been found with the Warner Brothers stamp upside down and in the lower left corner. This would have been caused by the sheet being inserted upside down into the machine. There have only ever been a few of these cards for sale. There are also rumours that some versions exist in English with no stamp at all. However, none of these have ever been seen in a public sale and no one I know actually has one in their collection. Card number 6 is another one that was just released via Pokemon Leagues. In March of 2000, Leagues were giving out this Arcanine card. Card number 7 is Jigglypuff. This card was originally only available by sending in coupons that you received by buying the soundtrack to the first Pokemon movie. However, I have heard that due to the small amount of people who were actually able to redeem these coupons in time, the card was later released to Leagues to make it more accessible to others. This Jigglypuff is also the other Grey Star promo that was released alongside the Pikachu in Japan. The cards numbered 8 and 9 are a non-hollow and hollow version of Mew. In Japan, this card originated in the Fossil expansion, but it was removed for the English release as they wanted to save it to be a promo, with these Mews being given out at leagues in January and April of 2000 respectively. The 10th promo is a Meowth promo, which was originally released by buying the Pokemon trading card video game for Game Boy Color. The card was originally created for the Game Boy game, before being made into a real card. This is signified by the small GB symbol in the lower right corner of the artwork. There is also a rare non hollow version of this Meowth available, which was released in Japan as part of a JR train rally promotion. Passengers on one of Japan's trains could get a hold of this booklet. They would get the booklet stamped at every station they went to, and people who managed to get every stamp would receive the Meowth card. Card number 11 was a nice holographic Eevee card. This card was given out at Leagues in June 2000. The twelfth card is a Mewtwo card. This card was released in Nintendo Power Magazine in April 2000. This card also has alternate artwork to the original Japanese version, as the original artwork was very similar to the artwork on promo number 3. Because of this, Magic the Gathering artist Christopher Rush stepped up and redesigned the artwork for this card. Now, the Eevee and Mewtwo were also released at the JR Train Rally campaign in Japan the year after the Meowth. While the Eevee became a non-hollow instead of a hollow and created a much rarer variant, the Mewtwo was already non-hollow. However, some people have said that you can tell the difference between the English cardstock and the Japanese cardstock that the cards are printed on. But the only way to really tell that you have the Japanese Mewtwo is to buy it in the JR Train Rally packaging. Card number 13 is a nice holographic Venusaur card. This is another card released in relation to the Game Boy Color trading card video game. This appeared in the video game itself as a special promotional card, while the physical card was released with the guide for the video game. And finally for this video, promo number 14 is another Mewtwo card. 
This card is a reprint of the promo number 3 Mewtwo with new artwork. And you could receive this card by buying Pokemon the first movie on VHS or DVD around the time of its release. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it informative, and I hope you'll come back to watch the rest of the series on the Black Star promos. Next time we're going to be continuing our way through the Wizards of the Coast promo cards, going from number 15 up to number 28. If you have any further questions, leave me a comment or email me at djgigabyte at live.co.uk. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you guys next time.